Have you ever been in one of those seasons where it seems like everything is going right? God is blessing you, you're hearing from him, you're close to him, and it just feels perfect. Then some knucklehead comes along in a sinful state. Maybe there's anger or jealousy or gossip involved, and everything gets messed up. And, and you're asking, God, how, how could this have happened? I'm Pastor Brian, and this week at Redeeming Life Church, we're going to be talking about this as we continue in our series, By Faith, the journey through Hebrews chapter 11. There, the author of Hebrews draws our attention to the faith of Abel. And maybe you're familiar with the story. In Genesis 4, we find out there's a man named Abel, and he has a brother named Cain, and they both give some offerings. One is uh, seen as favorable, and the other is not. And Cain kills his brother Abel. And the author of Hebrews is saying, let's look at the faith of Abel. And so we're going to do that this Sunday and see what God might have for us to learn about journeying in faith from a man named Abel. So I want to encourage you to be reading Genesis chapter 4 in preparation for Sunday. I also want to let you know that uh, we have been receiving some of the Jesus Storybook Bibles in the mail. Some of you have faithfully purchased these and been shipping them to us, and we are grateful. Thank you very much. We love this. We love giving it out to families. If you would like to make donations, we could use donations like this. Uh, our building looks amazing. A lot of hard work has gone into it, and it is because churches and individuals have been faithful to donate all kinds of stuff. I mean, the whole church is just a church built on hand-me-downs and donations, and it's amazing to see what God is doing. We still have some needs. Uh, Josiah, our children's ministry intern, has let me know that he would love to have some, some age-appropriate uh, Bible translations in our children's ministry area for the the elementary school kids. And so we love the NIRV translation. It is, it's translated for a second grade reader. It's easy to read, the sentences are short, and we'd love to have some of those copies available. So if, we, if you'd love to send some of those, if you feel called to help us in that way, get in touch with us. We'd give you some details or you can ship the NIRV translations to us. We can put them in use. We, we'll give them away to kids who don't own Bibles and we'll put a dozen or so in the room. We also are still working back there. It's looking great. Uh, Josiah and Crystal have done a killer job. This last Sunday was amazing with the kids going back there and all that's going on. Uh, if you still want to come in and help out, we're still working on building some sound panels and cleaning some things up and decorating and, and doing all kinds of stuff. If that's not your thing, Josiah still needs volunteers in the children's ministry area. So if you'd like to come in and work with the nursery or the little kids or teach classes or, or just be kind of the person that's the go-between, please get in touch with him and just say, hey, put me on the rotation. I want to be a missionary to the next generation of Christians in Salt Lake City. Hey, I'm looking forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. I hope you're doing well. We're praying for you. We'll see you then.